All right, guys, so I'm here at Odessa in Charlotte, the auction. I have to winch it up on. This is actually the first time I've winched a vehicle up on here from the ground up. I've winched a vehicle before, but first time I've actually had to do it on this trailer. So I'm gonna show you. Now, one thing I gotta do is get my screwdriver because the vehicle is inoperable. And so I have to find a way to get it from park into neutral. So some of you guys may know how to do this. It's something you may have done for me being newer to the game. This is my first time actually going through it. So thank God for YouTube cars are pretty messed up but hey it is what it is right all right so this little piece right here you have this little piece right here that's normally in here so you just pop that out and take it out you want to sit it here so it doesn't get lost emergency brake is off so you stick it down in the hole here you push down and then it goes into neutral that's it pretty smooth I'm not gonna lie to you I was a little bit concerned Thank God for YouTube. Guys, I'm telling you, the videos that we make, make sure they're trying to help somebody. Don't just make stupid stuff. Make sure you're putting stuff out there that's helping. Hopefully this part helps some people too. All right, so what's going So now we're gonna go ahead and get this thing strapped up, hit the road and get on back home. Got it all strapped up, strapped in. Nice and tight, do a final check around. Oh yeah. I know, I know, a lot of you have different ways you wrap your straps, I get it. I just care that they're secure, not flapping, not causing any unwanted attention. Winch is hooked up straight, nice and tight. Let's go and get up out of this thing. Finally got it all strapped up, done, everything good to go. And then this guy here, you know, look where he's going. Man, that was a lot. Just finished uh, strapping it up, got it all set. I gotta get some gas, I'm at 16 miles for empty, so I don't really wanna play around with that if I don't have to. and just like that done for the day I've already identified a couple more loads that I might pick up for next week it's Friday today so nobody's really doing anything the rest of the day anyway it's uh, 440, 442 so nobody's even loading cars and so everything is looking towards next week guys I love doing car hauling I'm at a red light too by the way I'm not driving so obviously hands are free but I love doing car hauling locally or regionally because I'm at home. You know, today is nice just to be riding around. I hadn't worried about a clock at all. I did make a two hour trip out, two hour trip back. Um, had a couple cars drop in between. Good day, I mean today to work for, I've been working for maybe five hours. Pulled off $700 for growth. So doing a quick envelope math. Probably profited at the end of the day, maybe 200 bucks, something like that when you take taxes out and gas. And also guys, I mean, this is me. I always calculate my taxes coming out immediately uh, when I, whenever I do this. And then I also account for what the gas will be and then leave it over, you know, leave whatever you got left over, left over. And some people say, oh, five hours for $200. Well, when you're talking about $200 net for something that you're enjoying doing that you don't have to do, but you want to do, that's building for something different. Ooh, that's a big bump. Um, I'm gonna hold this camera for you guys. Like I said, that, that $200 is well worth it. And then the experience and the people that you meet, so. Take it for what it is there. So, with that being said, I call that a good day. God bless you guys. We'll see you.